Okay, so we're looking at how to change shaft seal on a Stuart Turner pump. Shaft seal is here. Now, if it's leaking, you'll see water and crustiness and, and sort of lime scale from here. Now, um, this isn't exactly the easiest of tasks, but these are one of the few pumps that are actually built to last, so it is worth doing, um, especially when you consider a new pump is violently expensive. So, do the four bolts holding the casing together. Let's get back into position. I've already taken out two. Here's the other two. So it's one, two, three, four. Obviously, system drained. There will be some water in here, uh, which you'll have to catch with a towel. Then the main pump face comes off. Um, and um, Obviously, you disconnect the top bits first. Right, you've now got the impeller. Now, this can be a bit of a pain to get off. Now, ideally, what you want is one of these, which is a puller. Um, now, this was given to me by Stuart Turner themselves, um, made specifically for this pump. But um, if you haven't got one, um, you can tease it off with a couple of screwdrivers, just gently. Don't expect it to be as easy as this one because this has just come off a minute ago. So you pull that off and you're left with, there's your brass impeller, like so. Now notice here, this back bit of the pump, that there, that lump, has to match up with that lump there. So that one's at the top, like that, so is that one. Anyway, right, you're then left with the circlip in here holding the shaft seal in. And what you do is, first of all, take out the keyway, which I'm going to do like so. Some of the older pumps, the shaft's actually brass. On this one, it's stainless steel, as is the key. You can buy them. Don't worry if you lose it. Well, you really don't. Yeah. Right, circlip off. Now, spring-loaded dumb. Um, Seal, so be careful. Circlip off, and there's your circlip, and there's then a washer, and then out comes your seal, or in fact, actually, just your spring so far. You can then take that off and pull the main pump body or the main pump sort of back um, away, and there you go. So, let's look at this first of all. There's your outer seal. You can see how the little graphite bearing face there. This pushes in on um, on a rubber seat. So what you get is a rubber coated piece of graphite. You just pick that one out, hike it out, and put a new one in. Now the crucial thing here is to get it down square. You need to push it right down square, and then you need to turn it over, make sure it's sitting square. So clean out the area that it seats in and push it down nice and square. You can actually see that my pump seal's been leaking slightly. Um, push it down nice and square and that's that. Little drop of water, just to give it a bit of lube there. And then you can pop that back on. Now remember that to the top, that goes back on. And get it nice and firmly home. Oh, actually before we do that, there is one other thing. And to explain it, what I ought to do is explain how this inner seal works. This graphite face here seals onto that graphite face there to stop water escaping through here. Then this piece of rubber here grips the shaft to stop water escaping down through the shaft. So this spring has to hold this seal against the other one while still sealing with this bit of rubber here. So that spring has got to be able to push, it's got to be strong enough to overcome the grip of this bit of rubber on the shaft. So what I'm saying is, the shaft's got to be immaculately clean. It's got to be a little bit lubed up, water only, um, so this can slide against the action of the spring. So clean your shaft, get it nice, no abrasives, nothing like that. Get it nice and clean, top goes on, so, into place. Not always the easiest thing to do, but still, there we go, in place. Should locate nicely. Okay. 
Now, wet your um, shaft slightly, only water really is recommended, and ideally what you want to do is to run a little bit of sellotape around this to stop the shaft, uh, stop the seal actually biting on the keyway. So a little drop of uh, a little piece of sellotape around there, and then slide your again, wet the face, slide the seal over, over your piece of sellotape and down, and push it right down home, like so. Then your spring goes on, then your washer. And then you circlip. Hold it down, put the circlip in place. Not so easy with a camera in a way, but still. Like so. And then you can actually push it in. Often with a screwdriver, twisting action of a screwdriver, make sure you're in the slot, obviously. Twisting action of a screwdriver should get it down and in. No, I'm not going to put it all the way in because I've got several other of these videos to do. But you get the idea, she's down in place. Right, now, crucial thing. This, I know it was tight on the shaft when we took it out, but when you put it back, it's got to be able to settle properly into position, so it needs to be able to slide on the shaft, it must be able to slide easily on the shaft. If it can't, it's just going to bite up. This is going to start scratching and biting up, and your pump will jam. So, um, what you've got to do clean the shaft, clean in there, clean the keyway, and then place it in. And as I say, it is crucial that it. Um, crucial that it slides. Now, when you put this back together, the one thing you mustn't do, oh, hang on, wrong way, um, is to move the back of this, um, move the back of the pump, because if you do, you will unsettle where this um, uh, seal is sitting. So if I do this, uh, now, I've moved the seal back up the shaft and usually it won't reseat so what will happen is it just won't it won't seal you'll know pretty quick when the water comes pouring out so that now has to go back on in position you'll see even with this one that's been taken apart a few times for demo it still isn't quite as, as um, free and easy as it could be oh. There we are. And in it goes. But yeah, now this must go right back in, but must slide perfectly. It must actually move easily on the shaft. A little bit of water will help you there. And then check the condition of this o ring. And top goes back on. Tighten it down e evenly. And that, by rights, should be it. Um, the outcome of this is all down to how well you clean that shaft. If you don't clean it properly, or if you clean it with something abrasive and scratch it, um, you're going to end up with a problem. Um, again, that spring has got to be able to overcome the resistance of the rubber seal around the shaft. If it can't, um, what it's going to be do is it's going to be left stuck halfway up the shaft and it just won't sit down and seal it. Um, any scratches on those graphite um, seals and they won't seal any grit in there and they won't seal uh, if that back seal isn't square it won't seal um, and um, if you bend the um, impeller taking it off it will seize um, if you um, yeah and if this doesn't slide nice and naturally it will either touch on this side or it will touch on this side as it grabs. Anyway, um, that seals. Uh, don't be put off. They are worth doing. These pumps are extremely well made um, and they will last a long, long time if looked after. Um, I know it's tricky, but all parts.